Hello, everybody. I hope you're having a good Saturday. We're going to start this fly with a 2X long, 3X heavy, size 12 hook. And, of course, white thread. And we're going to run that thread all the way back to the bend of the hook. We're going to tie into the tail of this fly. Then we're going to get a piece of white marabou. And we're going to measure about the same length of this hook for the tail. Tie that in. Now the key to tying this next step is making sure you're wrapping it hackle style and letting the feather, the fibers one little giant to look like a giant puff ball when you're done basically. So you don't want to trap all the feathers down when you're wrapping in a feather around the hook shank. You want the feathers to stick out like a hackle. I'm going to tie that, that's what's left of the feather down, cut it off. And the reason why you want this to be all puffy is you want it to breathe in the water. It'll puff out and get skinny and puff out and breathe in the water. And that's what makes the fish go nuts. Now you want to make a head of this and whip finish it and cut it off and take this part of the fly out of your vise. Now, we have a uh, quarter inch gold tungsten bead in a size 12 uh, tactical hook or jig hook. And thread, like last time, white. Or if you're from back when I started to tie, silk white. And that's what color our thread's going to be. Okay, I took the last piece that we took out of the vise, and I stuck a piece of spider wire 60 pound test braided fishing line to the eye of the hook. And we're gonna tie that onto the this hook. Hey, all y'all, I hope you're loving that video. Very good video, ain't it? But we're going to talk about our sponsor today, Russell's Guide Service. Everybody there has at least 30 years. With most guides, you get guy has been fishing for five years. All of our guides have over 25 years of experience on their waters. Um, if you hire us as a guide, you have the best chance of whether you want to catch a brook trout and our mountain streams. How about a big brown up in the Pennsylvania Grand Canyon? Okay. Or maybe you just want to catch what they say you can't find a PA, a wild rainbow. Whichever one you pick, we also serve a lot of different styles. There's urine infant. 
There's dry fly fishing and strike in the care nymph fishing. And we can show you all the different kinds of water and teach you how you can catch better fish on your home waters. Plus, by the, end, by the end of the day, you can go home with a video recording of all the fish you caught to show all your friends when you get home. So, go check out the rates and stuff. You, you can't beat the rates, and you got the best chance of catching a fish. So go check out the rates and hire them. You can't could not. You got to do this so you can catch more fish even when you go home. All right, now, back to the great video. So how you tie this hook in is you take that piece of mono and you or that piece of fishing line and you tie it down on the top and then run up the, the other piece that's going through the eye of the hook on the bottom of the hook and tie it down and you bend it over fold it back towards the back of the hook tie it down again all the way back to the bend and then wrap it around and then tie the thread back up to the eye of the hook and then super glue it all or I didn't have it which I probably would have used if I had UV glue and then harden it up minutes later now we're gonna make a dubbing loop and then we're gonna tie that loop so you're gonna wrap the, your tying thread around the loop to make it so it's tied in back at the back of the hook now you're gonna stick this dubbing this minnow dubbing belly minnow dubbing in that loop real loosely and then you're gonna put Either your hackle pliers or your forceps you use to take a hook out of a fish's mouth, and you're gonna. At the very end of that loop, you're going to attach it to the end of the loop, and you're going to spin that loop, and it's going to tighten that loop up, and you can keep spinning it, and spinning it, and spinning it until you get to where it's just fluffy, but it's, you'll see when I wrap it. 
and you're going to wrap that up to the eye of the hook and tie it off. Hey, I hope you liked that video. That's an awesome fly. That articulation is going to add a lot of movement to this fly. It's going to be deadly. And then the hooks are going to ride upside down. Oh, it's going to be a deadly fly. So get these tied up um, and take them fishing. Well, we're going to go do real soon. So you guys have yourself a good day. And uh, thanks for being here watching our videos. Make sure you like and subscribe and comment. And keep your lines wet, out of trees, and only give them fish a sore lip. Have a good day.